We all know the terms dry skin, oily skin, combination skin, um, sensitive skin, right? I want to know from you, do you know these terms and where do you think your skin fits in? Hello beautiful face yogis. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am happy to be here today sharing something with you that will help you to understand your skin better. My name is Tina Scholl and I am a certified face yoga method teacher and head coach. And I love talking about everything related to the skin. We need to understand our skin to be able to nurture it correctly from the inside and the outside. Our skin is the largest and one of the most important organs in our bodies. And besides all of the practical functions it serves, like literally keeping us together, the skin regulates temperature, provides a barrier from environmental and chemical hazards, and even works as a part of our immune system. And our skin tells us exactly what it needs to be able to work properly, produce new and fresh skin cells, detoxify, and do all the amazing jobs it is made for, and there are so many. And today I will talk about skin symptoms, skin conditions, and skin types. We all know the terms dry skin, oily skin, combination skin, um, sensitive skin, right? I want to know from you, do you know these terms and where do you think your skin fits in? Do you have more oily skin or more dry skin or are you not sure about it? Please let me know in the comments below. I want to see if you know your skin and then we can start talking about skin types, conditions and symptoms. So most of us are thinking, this is my skin type. I have oily skin, my skin type is oily skin. No, 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 this is not true. This is not your skin type. This is your skin condition at this moment and it can already be a symptom. Your skin is telling you something. Some of us have skin conditions that maybe we were born with or come from a bout of sickness, medication or allergies, for example. There are many reasons why we experience different types of skin conditions. But sometimes we self-diagnose ourselves with skin conditions such as dry skin or oily skin when it is simply a symptom. And our skin is asking us for some extra care. If your skin is dry, maybe it needs an extra boost of hydration, such as a serum or facial oil before applying your moisturizer. Maybe you haven't been drinking a lot of water and the lack of hydration comes from the insides. Always make sure to drink enough water throughout the day. You should keep your hydration level up all day long, not only from the outside. Drink at least a few sips and even more every hour. And try to find the reason why your skin is dry. There are so many. When you sit in an air-conditioned environment, for, for example, when it's hot outside and dry, this will dry out your skin a lot. And also any kind of pollution, dust, and as I mentioned before, medication, hormonal imbalances, your diet, your lifestyle, these are just some examples. And when your skin is dry, it already is dehydrated. And this can cause fine lines, flakiness, itchiness, and your skin cannot work properly and do its job at its best. And on the opposite side, your skin might be oily, which in a lot of cases is also a lack of hydration. A lack of hydration, <laughs> sorry. We tend to cleanse our face then more often, do more exfoliations and peelings, dry out our skin with harsh soaps and face masks to balance out our skin, but we are doing the opposite. The more we stripe away the oils and the sebum, which is naturally produced and is our skin's barrier, the more our skin will produce and the oilier your skin becomes. Your skin begins to overproduce sebum, will appear oily on the outside, but is still dehydrated on the inside. Your skin may need a break. 
to balance out the sebum level on its own. It can do this if you give your skin the chance. And in this case, less is more. Do not over cleanse. Stop doing peelings and exfoliations. Nourish and hydrate your skin from the inside and adjust your diet and your lifestyle. And you will see how wonderful your skin will look. And forget the usual morning and night routine everybody's talking about. Adapt the routine based on your skin's needs and the symptoms it is producing. Feel your skin, look at your skin and pay very close attention to the health of your skin on a daily basis. Keep an eye out for these symptoms and learn from your skin day by day. Your skin changes and this can happen from one day to the other, depending on what you ate, how your stress level is, if the temperature changed, in which mood you are, it's all shown on your face and your skin. And if you are willing to listen to your skin and learn from your skin, you will get beautiful, healthy and glowing skin. And if you want to dive into this topic further and learn more about your skin, try out our skincare analysis quiz. I've left the link for you in the description. This quiz will design a unique ritual based on your skin's needs and it only takes a few minutes to complete. You can be thankful for every symptom your skin shows you because you can always find the reason and help your skin to become more healthy and keep a youthful appearance. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you.